Powering the kitchen. All kitchen wiring will be powered directly from the panel board. To power this kitchen, there must be five breaker slots available in the panel board, otherwise a new subpanel must be added. The 2020 NEC requires AFCI protection for all new 120 volts kitchen circuits. The kitchen receptacles serving the countertops and the dishwasher also require GFCI protection, which will be provided in the panel board. Make sure you can work on the panel board safely, to energize the panel board. To power the kitchen, insert the circuit cables into the panel board through the appropriate cable connector. Remove the cable sheath. A 15 amps 120 volts or 20 amps 120 volts GFCI, AFCI or AFCI, GFCI circuit breaker looks the same, but the purpose of protecting the electrical circuit is different. Always read the breaker information regarding breaker type and amperage found on the breaker label. GFCI, AFCI or AFCI, GFCI circuit breaker with neutral wire pigtail. Breaker handle. Test button. Neutral wire connection terminal. Hot wire connection terminal. Pigtail wire. Insert the AFCI GFCI circuit breaker with pigtail into the breaker slot in the panel board and connect as follows. Circuit breaker pigtail wire to neutral bar in sub panels or neutral ground bar in main electrical panel. Ground wire bare from the cable to neutral bar in sub panels or neutral ground bar in main electrical panel. Neutral wire, white, from the cable to the neutral terminal of the circuit breaker. Hot wire, black, from the cable to the hot terminal of the circuit breaker. The next video is an example of installing a similar circuit breaker, AFCI 15 amps with a neutral wire pigtail. Turn off the main breaker or the feeder breaker for the subpanel. Remove the panel cover. Open the selected knockout in the panel board enclosure. Insert the cable connector into the open knockout. Insert the cable into the connector and fasten the cable, usually a staple, 12 inches from the panel board. Strip the cable jacket. Root the ground wire, bare copper conductor neatly inside the load center panel board and connect it to the neutral ground bar in the panel.
Install the AFCI circuit breaker. Connect, terminate, the pigtail wire from the circuit breaker to the neutral, ground bus. Route the neutral, white, wire, conductor, inside the panel board, trim it, strip the end of the wire about one half inch and connect it to the neutral terminal screw of the circuit breaker. Route the hot, black, wire, conductor, inside the panel board, trim it, strip the end of the wire about one half inch and connect it to the hot terminal screw of the circuit breaker. Power up the panel and test the circuit breaker with the connected circuit for proper operation. Remove the knockout and panel board cover for the installed circuit breaker. Reinstall the panel board cover. Mark, describe the installed circuit breaker. Attach the test instruction and the test reminder label supplied with the AFCI switch in a visible position on the enclosure. Plug on PON neutral circuit breaker type AFCI or AFCI GFCI. Plug on neutral AFCI circuit breaker connection plug to neutral bar. To use a plug on neutral circuit breaker the load center must have a neutral bus that accepts these breakers. The neutral spring clip of the circuit breaker is inserted onto the neutral bus bar. Connect the wires from the cable to the plug-on type circuit breaker in the same manner as to the AFCI-GFCI breaker with pigtail wire. Install a 15 amps AFCI circuit breaker for the kitchen lighting circuit. Install a 20 amps AFCI circuit breaker for the microwave circuit and the refrigerator circuit and general outlets as required. Install a 20 amps AFCI GFCI circuit breaker for the kitchen countertop branch circuits and the dishwasher circuit. In branch circuits where only AFCI protection is required, an AFCI-GFCI breaker may be installed to provide greater protection without being inconsistent with the 2020 NEC requirements.